Let's start by having a look at the PC format, eh? Here we go, Ralph. Tell me what you know about the PC format. OK, Justin. So, the name should be in the top left corner. Yeah. And the date should be in the top right corner, as far to the right as possible. That's right. The title should be in the centre. And it is best to double space everything for class work. Correct, Ralph. Well done. So what's the problem? My writing looks like yours, but when I try to change anything later, everything goes wrong. OK, Ralph. I think it's probably how you started the document that's causing the problems. Why don't you show us how you did it now? What? Now? Yeah. Just copy mine and let's see how you started the document. Oh, oh, here we go again. Here we go. Oh, it's all too big. Oh, dear. Oh, what a mess. I told you, Justin, there's something wrong with it. It doesn't work right. It's you that's not working right. Come on, let's start a document and I'll talk you through it. OK? OK, Justin. OK, so open a completely new document. As you can see, the margins are set to 3cm. That's fine. And there's no need to change the font. Standard is good. The first thing to do is to set the font size. Then, put your name and the date at the left side at the top. Put the cursor in the middle and use the tab key to move the date across to the right. Tab key? Yes, tab key. When the date drops down, use the backspace to bring it back up. Use the space bar and the backspace key to adjust the date completely to the right. Put the cursor to the right of the date and press the return key to take it down to the next line. Now put in the title. Press and hold the mouse button and drag it across everything to select it. Now we can make double space. Press the line spacing button in the toolbar and choose 2. Select the title and press the center text button in the toolbar. Put the cursor just after the title and press return to take it down. Use the left align button to take the cursor back to the left. Finally, use the tab key to make your indent and you're golden. What, we're ready to go now? Yep, you're ready to start writing Ralph and you can't go wrong. What are those red lines under my words, Justin? Yeah, red lines often mean spelling mistake. And green lines mean a possible grammar mistake. If you right-click on them, Word will suggest a correction. But be careful, because it might not be right. OK, Justin. 
I've got it. Go on then, Ralph. Do an edit. Okay. Let's put Microsoft in. Wow. That's amazing. Everything moved. Just like it should. Yes, Ralph. That's because you started the document. Just like you always should. <laughs> You've no idea how much time this is going to save me. I've spent hours trying to fix bad documents. Yes, well, a little bit of knowledge goes a long way, Ralph. I do hope that this video helps you too, my dear listeners. And don't forget that there are lots of things to help you with your English at EnglishClip.com. See you there.